this the first film in Battlefield History TV series on the Hundred Years' War, charts the inexorable slide into conflict with France. From the early campaigns, we follow the progress of the war through sea battles to Edward's preparations for the invasion of France with his small but professional and above all paid army. It's quite difficult to accurately state what Edward's plans were for this campaign. No documents remain from the Royal Council's meetings. However, it is fair to say that Edward was going to fight this war on four fronts. The three traditional fronts, the Flanders Front, Brittany and Aquitaine. And he was going to open a fourth front, which would be the major front in Normandy. His plan would appear to have been that he would land in Normandy and then carry out a campaign of burning, looting and destruction. From Porchester, we follow the army across the Channel to their landing place at St Vast de la Hogue. Here, with only minor interference from the French, the army prepared for its march through Normandy. Simon, war in the Middle Ages wasn't just about battles. It also had a political, economic dynamic. Absolutely. The raiding of your enemy's territory was an important element of medieval warfare, known at that point as chevauchée. Effectively, you would take your army into the enemy's territory and you would ravage their economic supplies, you would denude them of their tax revenue, you would psychologically break the civilian population. And so Edward's army marched through Normandy towards the city of Caen, where they sacked and plundered the considerable wealth of the city. But without a siege train, they failed to capture the castle. The next stage of the campaign took the English army east towards the River Seine, but they could not find an undefended crossing until they reached the outskirts of Paris. And then it was on northeast towards the River Somme. Looking over the Somme Valley from the north bank, the, the French side, uh, I can see that even with modern equipment, this is a significant obstacle. What impact did this terrain have on the campaign uh, for Edward III? Well, for Edward, this was a major game changer. He had to cross the Somme. And if you After marching north up the valley of the River Somme, trying to find a crossing that wasn't heavily guarded, with the French armies closing in, the increasingly desperate Edward seized a crossing at Blanchetac. This is the far side of the Somme estuary and the site of the Blanchetac ford. This, like every other crossing point on the River Somme, was guarded, in this case, by Godimar de Fay, an unfortunate man in history, with no less than 4,000 men-at-arms and several hundred Genoese crossbowmen. With the main French army now not far away, the diminutive English force prepared for battle. In the final section of the film on Cressy, the team analyse the battle on the ground where it was fought and consider how an overwhelmingly powerful French force was defeated by a numerically inferior one.